you guys, I was just uh, cleaning up the wires in my boat. I have a ton of wires um, for different accessories, but it's kind of still a work in progress. But um, I got to thinking how my amplifier and um, some other accessories bilge pump was attached to my boat. Um, the amplifier was wired directly to the battery, which is usually what you want for a car installation, but I have this dual battery switch and I, you know, I have two batteries on the boat, one over there, one over here. And I got to thinking the amplifier can never really be shut off. So even if I turned this to off, which I do when I store the boat for more than a day, the amplifier is still attached to the battery. So there's a, still a little parasitic draw. I know because when I attach uh, the amplifier wire to the batteries, it'll spark. And uh, so that got me thinking about some other things and I just wanna show you what I did to fix it. Um, this is the back of a dual battery switch. So the switch lets you switch it to off, so no batteries connected, battery one, which is this one, battery all batteries so which is two, two batteries together or number two which is over there on the starboard side but anyway so what I just did is I connected the amplifier to this middle post which allows me to run the amp off either battery any battery it's selected or both or turn it off now so that's a lot better it's gonna have less parasitic draw and it's still uh, connected, you know, it's connected to the battery. This switch is connected to the battery with, by this very large and short battery cable. So it's not like I increase the distance um, to from the amplifier to the battery, because that's what you really don't want to do with these 12 volt amps. But um, this just kind of gives me a little more safety and flexibility and it's really easy to do. So. Um, plus it cleans up the, uh, so now my battery connection, uh, for the positive is only, is only one wire, which is awesome. It just cleans up the installation. Uh, I just was putting in this brand new battery and got to thinking, I, I really, I don't, here on the negative, I kind of have to do this, but, um, I, I don't like it. I like having a really clean installation. Proline did a good job of, uh, giving me some options back there. I might be, I, I could probably move some things back there as well. And there's a, a breaker for the main boat. Um, but anyway, so I just thought I'd mention that. Um, right now I'm installing a power supply from the kicker. So I have this old Honda motor, which is awesome by the way, still starts first pull. And I just added, connected the, uh, the power output from the kicker Ugh, to so I can charge my batteries, my boat batteries. So I kind of needed that because I, I got these electric downriggers and just basically trolling a lot more downrigger goes here, trolling a lot more and using a lot more power when the main motor's off. So, um, yep. So as I start to add more and more accessories, just kind of, kind of, plan ahead so anyway guys I just I'm, this video is getting too long I'll talk about some other stuff separately but I just wanted to mention um, that's how you can set up your dual battery switch and also what I'm doing too is see how this you focus here see how this terminal is all corroded you see that dust and that greenness I just cleaned both of these and put dielectric grease on them and this will keep the salt water corrosion off. Great stuff, uh, goes a long way. So get yourself this and uh, also coat all my battery terminals, any bare metal, I coat it with this. So there's a good tip for uh, you saltwater guys and uh, your freshwater guys as well. So 